My name is Garen. I'm here representing Tascam for NAM 2013. We have a couple new interfaces that are coming out that are really exciting. We have the US 322 and the US 366. Now as you can see with both of them, they're solid aluminum designs, really well built to just toss in your suitcase and go. Uh, very user friendly designs. And one key feature that you're going to see on both of these is this mixer panel option here. This is a brand new technology that Tascam has introduced on these. Uh, with selecting the mixer panel, you then have access to an onboard mixer panel and also onboard effects. Uh, you also have multiple mixer screens to operate from. You have stereo mix mode and also monitor mix mode for those of you focusing on audio recording or if you would like to do podcasting or movie editing, uh, these can be tailored to your needs. Now the US322 is the 2 in 2 out version. It records up to 24 bit 96K. Uh, it has all your, all your standard plugs, your XLRs with phantom power. Uh, now Tascam with, with both of these models is using uh, advanced mic pre's. They're, they're HDDA mic preamps, uh, which stands for high definition discrete architecture. So these are the best sounding pre's that you'll have heard from Tascam yet. You also have your guitar inputs and headphone inputs on the front. On the back you have RCA out and uh, balanced out for monitor mix. The 366 uh, is interesting because it operates as a 4 in 6 out or a 6 in 4 out depending on how you utilize the digital input outputs on the back. Now again you have your XLRs, your headphones and guitar in and line in on the front and on the back you have a few more options now. You have your balance outputs, you have your RCA, but you also have RCA and optical digital in and out. So your options and choices are uh, not limited at all. So these are the new interfaces from Tascan. They'll be available uh, around late February to March, uh, and they'll be retailing around 150 for the 322 and 199 for the US 366. So what's the idea behind the mixer panel? Because basically, it's just like a, a hotkey that saves you going. You have to have to sort of find it your software. Your exactly. Yeah. Well, you you still need your software, but this just offers a an easier step to get to your recording. You don't have to. You don't have to sift through various screens and everything. You can bring everything up and down with just the click of a button from your from your interface. Uh, with one thing I did forget to mention too, with the 366, you also have uh, a remote connection on the back. You can connect a foot switch. So if you need to operate your interface or operate your DAW from a, away from your computer, you have that option. You can be playing guitar and start and stop your recording with the foot switch. So. Okay, good. Mix a button switch. Yeah. Is it multifunction or does it just literally open up the software? If you press it several times, does it open different pages, different screens? For the mixer panel yeah. button, uh, it'll open and close it. That's um, it'll bring up your effects in the mixer panel. So there's no other sort of switching functionality. You can, right. Like double press it to get to another screen. No, then. they don't want to complicate any of that. Just want to make it as easy and quick to use as possible. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you got prices and shipping. What's that? Yeah, they're shipping late February to March. The 322, the two in, two out version, will be around 150. The 366, the four in, six out, or six in, four out, will be around 199.